For everything there is a season, and a time for every matter under heaven. Ecclesiastes 3, 1. Facing rejection when asking someone out on a date. As a Christian, you attend church and have noticed someone you would like to date. However, you may wonder, what if she turns me down? Can you handle the rejection? Does it imply you haven't prayed enough? Will you need to find another church? What will fellow church members think if she says no? Rejection can be painful, and it's only human to avoid situations that could cause physical or emotional distress. This avoidance can lead to developing a fear of rejection. Is it necessary for a Christian to be fearful of rejection in dating? Letting the fear of rejection hold you back can keep you from realizing your full potential and may even keep you from receiving the blessings God has in store. And we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are called according to His purpose. Romans 8.28Father, I am scared. I'm worried. I'm anxious. I don't know what is going to happen when I will ask Chantel out for a date. I need you now more than ever. I need you to prop me up, wrap your arms around me, and hold me close. Please remind me day by day, hour by hour, minute by minute, and second by second that you are here. I come before you, Lord. I am laying my fear at your feet. I ask that you help me get through all of the doubts and fears when I feel as if I am being crushed. Remind me that you are a powerful God. Remind me that I can trust in you, that you love me, that you have my back. I know I can't do this on my own. I need you. Teach me not to worry. Remind me to not be anxious. As it says in Philippians, Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. I am making my request known to you right now. I need help. I need you. Teach me to stand strong in you. Let my ways be aligned with yours and let me not deviate from it. Lord, please grant me peace that is beyond all understanding. As it is written, but let him ask in faith with no doubting, for the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea that is driven and tossed by the wind. James 1, 6. Lord, give me the strength to overcome fear and doubt. Build my faith in you. And let me be strong in you in a way that fear and doubt will have no space. I thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Who are you and what brings you here, my child? My name is Ryan. I have been struggling with fear. Fear of rejection from someone from church that I would like to date. What if I ask her for a date and she says, no? It is written, fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed. For I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Isaiah 41, 10. Tell me more about your situation. We both serve in the same church and the same worship group. And I started noticing her for some times now without revealing anything. In reality, I see her as someone I would love to be with. Did she say anything that could reveal if her feeling towards you are the same? Well, she most of the time smiles at me. Is there any friendship? Well, we both love the Lord and we are active in our church. Why do you think that because you serve in the same church, there shouldn't be any friendship? How can you be confident that you can ask her out if you first don't know her as a friend? I am certain of my feelings. I can't explain it. If that is the case, then do not let fear hold you back as it is written. For I, the Lord your God, hold your right hand. It is I who say to you, Fear not, I am the one who helps you. Isaiah 41, 13 
I shall speak the truth to her and make sure we become good friends before anything else. As it is written, but he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore I will boast all the more gladly of my weaknesses, so that the power of Christ may rest upon me. 2 Corinthians 12.9 To be rejected, you have to put yourself out there, and that is something that many people do not have the courage to do. Assuming that she says no to you, it should not be all about you. You don't know whether or not she is ready for a relationship. You don't know yet whether you are the type of person she would like to be with. So the fear of rejection can become selfishness? It should not be about me. Having reservations about being rejected is a normal emotion, however. Do not let this stop you from trying and getting out of your comfort zone. It is the Lord who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not leave you or forsake you. Do not fear or be dismayed. Deuteronomy 31, 8. If you feel yourself starting to get anxiety or hyper-stressed about something you may be rejected from, think, even if I fail at this, everyone I love will still love me, and the other people probably won't remember it for long. Truth is the most powerful defense we have against fear. The fear of man lays a snare, but whoever trusts in the Lord is safe. Proverbs 29, 25. It is written, But when He, the Spirit of Truth, comes, He will guide you into all the truth. He will not speak on His own. He will speak only what He hears, and He will tell you what is yet to come. John 16, 13.